Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be covering on how to change the color of the button to a gradient and also how to add shadows. So for this video just let's go jump right in. The first thing you want to do is add an element called button. After that uh, we have the pre-made uh, thing, the pre-made template that ClickFunnels provides, right? This one. But how do we change the color to a gradient one? So what we do is actually uh, use a code, a piece of code, um, to make those changes. And that piece of code is L button. Dot L button. So this is being called. This is going to call all the button elements that are in the um, in the the funnel, right? So now, how do you do change to the gradient? So for that, you need another piece of code. And there are plenty, plenty uh, tools that you can use in order for um, to get you that better. Um, and the first thing that you need to do is just um, go ahead and like search for CSS gradient codes. After that, you are going to get uh, a lot of uh, things, right? A lot of uh, research. And what you do is just you select one of the the things that appear and try to see if you like the gradient tools or not. Now here uh, all of the tools get you different things. This one for example gets you some pre-mates uh, and then you can copy the CSS. Now what happens if you don't like this CSS? So there's where uh, you need to see which CSS tools you prefer. For example I really like this one. This one gets you the chance to not only generate a, a palette from specific colors such as this one, but also gets you to create a gradient with two colors and a gradient with three colors. Now, if you want to create this one, you just generate it, get the direction that you want, generate, and then copy the code that it's inside here. Once you copy it, you just go back to L button and paste it right there. Notice this is going to be a long piece of code, line of code, but it's going to do the trick, right? There's the button right there. So we can um, we can see that if we add other buttons, all the buttons are going to have the same um, gradient, all right? Now, what happens if you want to make this just look a little bit better. Well, for that, we have this other tool. And by the way, I'm going to be providing other CSS gradient tools that you can use, um, and the links are in the description below. So a lot of tools right here that you can use in order for you to get um, the gradient tool changed, the gradient color changed. Now, for the shadow part, we want to add that detail. Let's go for CSS Matic and then go for a box shadow. Here it allows you to just manipulate the shadow as you like with the length, vertical and horizontal. Now, the one that I really prefer are these subtle, uh, these subtle ones, right? It can be more to the right, more to the left, but a little bit inclined and to do the trick, right? Now, we'll just give it a little bit less blur all right now we just copy this code and guess what we go back to the l button and then get a new line and paste it right there and what is going to happen is this it is going to add the shadow behind it okay now what happens if you want to give this uh, a more professional look so for that, I'm going to be showing you something that you can use, which is going to be um, giving you that look. So if you go for border and zero pixels, pixels, sorry, and of course to override everything that you want to override, you use the important, right? And then it is going to remove that uh, border that you had, right? So now this gets a much, much better look. 
okay so now you can play around with um, with the corners you can make it like 10 pixels of corner or 15 pixels or 60 pixels it doesn't matter right you just you can play around with it and you can change the um, the colors the gradient colors as well just copy and go back and paste it right there okay and you will change the button okay so that's about it if you would like to see more about these ones i have more more information about it if you are curious on how to be a more professional funnel designer and builder go ahead and check the description uh, links i have um, some great information right there so see you guys in next video